Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to that one awkward guy. We are back. I am back to recording videos now after a few months hiatus. Uh, as many of you who have been around with the channel since back when I was recording know, I haven't uploaded in a few months. The main reason for that being Manly Guns was not an update I or update or DLC that I enjoyed. I don't really care about the fuel aspect, but naval game was just ruined for me. I never liked Navy in the first place. Man the Guns for me made it a lot worse, and I just kind of got turned off of Hearts of Iron 4 for a few months. I really didn't play it at all, and recently I'm kind of getting back into it. Still hate the Navy system, but I'm dealing with it for the rest of the game I enjoy. Um, but yeah, so we're back hopefully to recording um, some more videos. I'm also probably going to do some different games because I don't want to get burned out of Hearts of Iron 4 again, so I'm thinking, you know, Napoleon Total War is a game I've been into recently, so I might do some of that. Uh, Star Wars Empire at War, if you've ever heard of that, I'm thinking of doing a series there as well. Uh, but for my first video back, I figured I should probably do a Hearts of Iron series. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing Texas on the USA States mod, but not the original USA States mod. This has a little bit of different stuff. So, the original USA States mod not only has it not been updated to work with Man the Guns, but it also just had the same states having the, you know, base Hearts of Iron for uh, Focus Tree. What this mod does is it adds a, not all states, but for a few states it adds unique Focus Trees. If I remember correctly, Texas had one, I think New York had one, I want to say North Carolina had one, maybe California. I can't remember, but I know at the very least uh, Texas and New York and a few others have it. The link will be in the description below if you want to try it out. Uh, but I thought that's a really cool way to put a spin on a mod that I played a lot on this channel, and I've done a Texas series before, but you know, this will make it a little bit different. Uh, so let's look through that focus tree before we get started. I did a test playthrough, I already know what I'm going to go down, but from left to right. So obviously your first one here is your fascist option, Lone Star which kind of goes down into two separate uh, paths. So you could forge your own path, and then you do this. This actually triggers a civil war. Um, pretty basic civil war. I don't know why, because you also get a pop-up that allows you to just turn fascist, so I don't know why I need to have a civil war to go fascist when I'm already fascist, but whatever. Uh, you'll see that in a minute, because uh, this is the tree I'm going down, so then you have these two options. Personally, I think they may have proven useful. I'll show you both here. This just gives you 100 popularity of fascism, which you already get with the event, so it's kind of useless. And this is the one that's better, because this guy here, he gives you uh, construction speed and refinery, refinery construction speed, which is actually useful. And then, you know, you have your typical industry builds up uh, stuff. But what makes this really interesting is not only do you get the, you know, in the classic one, the military youth was always part of this focus tree, um, but you also get this one, militarism, which gives you an extra 5%, and I believe this one brings you up to limited conscription for free. So you get a lot of manpower with this option, which is very useful in this mod. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be going down this one, and then you go down and you get to retake the Mexican Empire, but that doesn't make sense because I'm playing on the version that is just Canada and the US. <clears throat> Excuse me, so that's not the most useful, but whatever. And then you get a bunch of um, annexation options and another event regarding Mexico, which doesn't exist. I'm actually not sure what this is besides giving you political power, but it's there, so I guess it's not entirely useless. Anyway, your other option is peacefully integrate, which interestingly, peacefully integrating involves the annexation of countries through war, so not very peaceful. And yeah, you're building up of industry, and then the reason I'm not doing this is because it's mainly centered around um, the rest of the world, i.e. Axis allies. Um, this one, I'm not sure what's this one do. Okay, so this just creates our own faction, I guess. Uh, yeah, so not super interesting because the rest of the world doesn't exist in the version that I'm playing. And the other one here, you have your Democratic, which again, two kind of different ones. This one just gives you ownership, which I don't really like that. I, I'd rather actually fight over it. I don't want to just get control over a bunch of stuff. Um, and this way it gives you a bunch of forts. 
And similar to the last one I showed you, this one is going to involve a lot of, here we have Mexico, here we have the Allies, we have Germany. Essentially, this whole thing is just getting war goals against countries that don't exist in this version. There is a version where they do exist, but not in this version. So I'm not going to be doing that one. And the communism one is relatively similar, where, you know, you have your classic buffs, but then you have... Uh, join Stalin, which brings you to the Soviet Union, which doesn't exist, and some industry focus, which is nice. Or you go this way, and this one's, I guess, a little bit less focused on the rest of the world, but even still, you get the two focuses for al alliances that don't exist. So, that's why we're going to be going down the one over here, because it has the least to do with other countries. It's mostly focused on the other states. So... We're going to put them into an army, I guess. I don't have a general. We are going to wait to assign it, because I don't know if I'll lose my general during the Civil War, so we're going to hold off on that. We'll do that. That. And I would like the research buff. And motorized, because I want to get field hospitals pretty early, because even though we have a lot of manpower, we don't actually get that much more because we have no claims on the rest of these states. So what we have in Texas is pretty much what we have for the game. I might add the more non-core manpower mod if I find it to be a problem, but I'd rather hold off on that until it's necessary. Uh, so as Texas, we start off with a lot of civilian factories, as you're about to see. I'm just going to build down here for now because I did do a test playthrough. And the revolution gets this territory. I don't want them to have the military factories. Um, but yeah, we start with no military factories, but a ton of civilian factories. So we're kind of in a rough position. We can build pretty quick, but, you know, we're kind of just sitting here with a bunch of under-equipped divisions. Uh, anyway, though, we are going to unpause. We're going to put it on max speed because the beginning here is just going to be a little bit of waiting until we can do the uh, Civil War option. So we must prepare for the worst, and this is the fascist option. So let's uh, wait a few days just to let the AI all go through that event, and we're going to see who surrounds us. Are we going to get a massive faction alliance around us, or are we going to be okay? So democratic, democratic, communist, democratic, fascist, democratic. Okay, a lot of democratic so far. Communist. Fascist, fascist, ooh, California with fascist, that's a little bit scary. Okay, we have a few. We have a decent mix, but around us is mostly democratic, a little bit of communist. And the democratics probably won't faction up unless the uh, world tension gets too high. So, let's go ahead and do this. This will give us the uh, fascism support, which, again, we don't really need, because we're at 98% as is, which is also why I am not going to bother with this guy, I'd rather get an industrial focus. And there, I would go for this first, but it's just kind of not there. I don't know if that's a glitch or if it's supposed to be that way, but yeah, we don't actually have anybody there. And, you know, there was a trick. I tried it out. It didn't work. I remember back in the day, I think this was before Man the Guns, if you have all of your guys at a port, and then you send them to the next port, and they're out in the sea while the Civil War kicks off, the AI doesn't get control of them. That's how it used to work, but I tried it when I tested out the mod just to make sure there were no big crashes or anything. That didn't work, so I'm assuming they patched that out. It was kind of a little silly, I guess, but I did it always during these early Civil Wars. Uh, either way, we shouldn't have a problem, because they got four divisions, I got two, but they also didn't do anything with their divisions. They just kind of sat there, so it works out. And also, before I forget, let's switch this guy to an infantry division. So we are going to begin producing rifles, as many as we can. What do we got? Let's get that. And like I said, I think I don't think they get this, so we'll build up there. We're gonna mostly build in this area. I think actually all they get is northwest Texas, so we can build here as well. Uh, but yeah, that should be fine. Lone Star right there. Can we get a material designer? Let's go artillery I think because I want to have a lot of artillery I want to make my divisions as, as tanky as we can because again we're gonna have more manpower than most but not unlimited so the more support stuff we can get the better so in 35 days the Civil War begins and again I'm not gonna bother with the trick I tried it out three or four times to test it 
doesn't work, it's being patched out. And I guess now we're just gonna wait. You know, we should also probably start trading for steel because the steel will very quickly begin to be eaten up by other countries from trade, so the sooner we kind of stake out our claim of the steel um, that's being traded around, the better. You know, that way no one else can get it. Uh, in the imme in immediately concentrated industry is probably better, but in my experience, this very quickly in, in the States mod, it just turns into you're going to get in, at war with another faction that you kind of create a barrier of democratic nations. If you watch my Georgia series, this makes more sense. But what ended up happening is I had a bunch of democratic nations between me and the entire communist northeast. They all went communist. And they were strat bombing me like crazy. And I went concentrated industry and I spilled anti air guns everywhere. And it was a whole issue. And I wish I had gone dispersed industry to get the, uh, um, what, what's it called here? The factory bomb vulnerability and all that stuff. So we're going to go with that just because I know the AI loves to strat bomb in this mod. So we're going to go down that. Even though it doesn't seem like a great idea now, it will pay off later. How much longer that focus? A few days. We're going to bring it down to four speed. Just in case the AI does decide to make a move. Okay, yep. So they got the majority of the divisions. And they got the good one. So that's great. Uh, the actually fully equipped one. So we're going to, like I said, we're doing this one because he just actually gives us stuff that's useful. But as you see, the AI is just sitting there. Not actually doing anything. So we're going to surround this division in the south. And we're going to it out just in case it does decide to move and we'll do that and then we'll take Fort Worth and we'll win. I'm not too concerned about uh, the fact that we're losing four divisions. I'll be able to build them back pretty soon because our industry is growing relatively quickly now and we have a lot of focuses to grow our industry so it should work out to be fine. So grab Dallas and we do need Fort Worth to actually take them unfortunately i wish you could just take dallas and get the win but not gonna work that way okay so we're gonna let him actually have some attrition for a second because our guys are very low on strength right now it's the main thing holding them back we are gonna just put it on five speed i think you know while we're doing this let's just take that deny them any and all resources and air bases just in case they somehow get like a lend lease of planes i don't know Resource and not too useful. We're gonna go down our doctrine. Okay. Can, can we give this? And you know what? Why am I? I forgot to assign my general. All right. It's not. That's kind of okay. I'll take that. Bit of. You know what? What a make play. You found a completely random general, and I, I'm not gonna complain. I'll upgrade him. With, uh, with the time, he will get better. Right now, I'm really, I don't even want defense or anything or planning speed. I just want as much attack as we can get. Because the other thing is we're going to run into a lot of issues like with uh, Louisiana. They just turtle around New Orleans and the more attack bonuses you can get, the better. Uh, so yeah, we have to get field hospital. And there we go. Now we are taking this guy out. Oh yeah, his organization is dropping pretty quick. And our guys are continuing to get more and more uh, infantry equipment out to them, so they're going to get even stronger. I don't think we're going to be able to take Fort Worth if they have two whole divisions there and we don't have a full surround, so we're going to hit the north area first. Okay, we almost got this guy. Yep. So we're going to hit the north first and then hit them from two sides. There we go. That's them. Gone. Go there. And you go there. While they get here, they're also going to get resupplied, and we are running out of stuff, so where else? Okay, we can start building there now. Perfect. Oh, that's the full strength division. You know what? We might actually have a better chance of taking Fort Worth, if that's a full strength division, to be honest. Strength of the military. Come on. Tell me we can get this. No, we're not going to get it. Alright, let's just wait for a second. Let's let our guys get back up to a little bit higher strength. We're, we're producing uh, infantry equipment fairly quickly. We'll get uh, artillery and support equipment going too. Uh, so when that focus finishes, we're going to get some more divisions. Our advantage is they have no military factories and probably don't have the civvies to build any. So 
No, I the civilian factories, because I think I have most of them, because I'm still producing pretty decently. Um, more. Oh, well, we can't do that. We don't have space. Okay, get infrastructure. Um, so yeah, we just kind of have to wait them out. World tension is still low, so I'm not really worried about getting declared on. Alright, let's give that another try. Let's try this northern division. Yeah, there we go. We have the strength to take him on. And he'll retreat to Fort Worth, and by that point we should have more than enough equipment to take Fort Worth. Okay, you go here, get their organization back, and let's see, can we take it? Uh, maybe. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to train up. Reinforcements is still top priority, but we're going to train up some more divisions. Strengthen the military, strengthen the military. Again, we have another military factory now. Let's get rifles primarily, and like I said, we're going to, even though it's going to cost civvies, even for one tungsten, the tungsten market, there's not a lot there. So, let's stake out our little bit of it while we still can. Okay, this isn't going to work. Okay, maybe it will work if they're going to push up there. Okay, if they want to attack me, they can waste away their very limited supplies. Chemical computing, alright, very nice, very nice. Let's get that. Let's also get fighter ones, because I want an air force. Okay, I think we'll be able to win this now. Their main uh, defensive division is no longer present. He is pushing, though. He's retaking Dallas. It's a little concerning, but we can just kind of go behind him and take Dallas in a minute. Once we push these guys out. Can I quick deploy anybody right now? Just to stop him from getting to Houston. Even if they're really low strength. Uh, he's going to get there. Come on. Ah, dang it. Okay. That's a problem. Let's... Let's try to get to Dallas. We still do have a chance here. Okay, so here's what's gonna. Okay, you take Houston and you guys kind of just rush up here. I think if we get Dallas, they're just gonna capitulate now because they have no more VP points. Yes, they will. Awesome. So let's join you guys all in the army. They're green now, so we're gonna have to train them up eventually because I don't want them to be combat debuff. So that'll have to be done at some point. Let's go to war economy, because we can, and there's no reason not to, currently. I'm going to make sure I haven't played for a while. Have there been any changes? Okay, yeah, no, no reason not to. Alright, industry, we should be able to go. Well, no, we can't go to the next level, that's okay, though. Let's get tack bombers and then strap bombers next. So we'll let the rest of these guys train properly, but right now the focus is on reinforcements. Actually, you know what? No, we're not going to war, so the focus is going to be on just getting out new divisions. Yeah, I mean, we're not going to be doing any massive invasions and likely not going to be invaded because most of the people around us, I think all of the people around us, don't actually have any focus trees. Um, so we should be okay. Mm, I want fighters and casts. Uh, so yeah, let's just get some divisions out, and then we can worry about uh, resupplying the guys that are already out there. Uh, so we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Okay, what do I want to do here? Heavy aircraft. So that'll give us more strategic bombing. Excuse me if I'm taking a little bit longer to go through these. I haven't played... Pretty, I haven't played consistently for a long time. I've really only played off and on to try mods. Uh, so I need to kind of relearn all of this. So I guess fighters... Uh, carrier fighters, not going to be super useful. Heavy fighters. And I think heavy aircraft just to give us more strategic bombers because that's another thing. Sometimes you just, you're not going to be able to push through unless you can wipe out their infrastructure. What are we missing? Probably rubber and steel, yeah. That's the next thing we're going to research. The first person to actually produce rubber in any significant quantity, that's who dominates the entire air battle. 
So, hold that second. Yeah, we're just gonna go do that right now. Fuel storage. Okay, good to go. You can see our manpower is rapidly increasing. We're probably, we're gonna easily get probably recruitable, I'd say, of maybe even 2,000. Definitely probably about 1,500, maybe 2,000. Um, yeah, because right, we still are missing one. Yeah, we're still even going to get another 2%, so we're probably easily going to get a recruitable of 2,000. Maybe, probably, a lot more. Uh, so that's wonderful for us. What are we on now? We're on national speeches. And then we do this, and then we start getting some annexations. And we'll check before I go down one road. We'll check who has factions, if anybody. I don't think anybody's factioned up yet, no. They're probably not going to until someone starts declaring the first war let's see so new york new york yes they do have their own faction here they seem to have gone down this one that's just oh why don't i do i have something like that like just a doctrine one i didn't see it hmm. do i have a doctrine focus anywhere not really that's okay i got a lot of annexation stuff so i'm not going to complain I don't need doctrines, my men will learn through invasion. We don't need theorists, that's that's not important. We'll test our theories on the battlefield, that's what we'll do. As we just did, I think we're the only ones to actually get in an actual conflict so far. There we go, there's fuel storage. Uh, let's get synthetic there, and wow, we got through that infrastructure a little quicker than I thought, so I guess throw that up and another military factory in each. Perfect. What am I missing? Oh, outdated. Yes, let's get you to modern fighters. Um, another division. Deploy him with the main army. How are we doing on that? Okay, so we're making good progress. We have all the artillery, so now we're actually reinforcing the guys. Actually, no, we're now stockpiling our artillery. Correct. Correct. Very good. Very, very good. And I'm going to hold off on building more factories out here because I want to get some synthetic um, refineries so I can start getting rubber produced and get my Air Force properly building up. Right now, well, probably a few dozen planes. Nope, we have seven planes, not even a dozen. Okay, more research. Not going to get heavy fighters. This is all too early, but we should be able to do that. Perfect. And I'm going to get Cass over fighters uh, for the main reason that I don't think the people around us are going to have serious air forces and we're probably not going to need that many fighters to take uh, air superiority, but the more Cass we have, uh, the better. So we could go down Colorado, it's Colorado, Utah, Silver, oh I never remember who Silver is, New Mexico. Arizona and Golden Empire. Golden Empire, is that? That wouldn't be California, would it? Yes, it would be. Well, there's no factions around us. So, let's see. So, who do we actually border that we could use this against? So, Colorado or New Mexico. So, we border New Mexico. So, let's start with New Mexico because we don't border Colorado right now. So, New Mexico. And I also really, really, really want to get Arizona because... Boom! Steel. I desperately want that steel. And as we get up here... Um, or, yeah. So as we get up here to Silver Empire, yes, Nevada. Then we get more steel and tungsten. And more tungsten here in uh, Utah. So, Arizona is the key to unlocking all of that. And we can't access that key until we access the first key which is New Mexico keep going down that we have another division so let's I guess put men on the border all up here let's attach them to a field marshal should have done that earlier um, Alex Jones okay okay all right I'm, I'm just gonna leave that there um, that's a coincidence interesting um, moving on uh, ship designer, no, let's get tanks. I don't think we're going to be playing a big naval game. There we go. Do sing. Are we almost done this? Okay, perfect. Fully supplied. So now we are actually 
reinforcing our troops on the ground. I might even build up some more because we're doing pretty well on this. So I think let's let's start another ten. Ah, oh, we're limited. Crapped by the manpower in the field, seventy-five percent. What's it? Why am I being? Ca I've never understood exactly what that means. Does it mean I can? Oh, it's the training limit thing. We're, we take they take our men at the field, and we can only train at any one given time seventy percent of the men we actually have deployed. I've always found that kind of silly. We have a military factory that I haven't signed. Let's do this. Western neighbor. All right, and then that and then next we get Arizona. So we're actually is there. Let's do this. Let's get those civilian factories while we prep for this war. Uh, let's get support equipment there. And resource-wise, still struggling with rubber. That's all right. Let's do that. And let's grab you. The next, I'm not going to go to extensive. I guess I could go to extensive conscription, but I don't think we need the manpower yet. Uh, what are our options here? Mm, don't really need that yet either. Okay, let's just get this division up on the line, and then we'll push. We're also getting those civilian factories as well, so what do they have industry-wise? They have, oh, lots of civvies, nice. Uh, let's deploy the small air force that we have. Fighters and CAS, and we'll just set reinforcements. Let's go just 200 on air wings. They'll reinforce them with whatever planes we have currently available and let's go construction and I don't think we're gonna need silos we're producing so much oil and we're gonna be producing more and more the more people we conquer so I'm not gonna worry about that for now air doctrines let's do let's do mm, I'm torn between these two because part of me wants this strategic bombing but I think we are you know what as much as i want this planes are only going to make so much of a difference if we can destroy their industry we can wear them down so let's go strategic bombing assuming that doctrine does what i remember it to do uh, since we just have political power sitting around i guess we might as well just to make sure we don't get influenced so put the advisor there and let's declare air force superiority and close air support Shouldn't need it, they only have one division, but might as well get some air experience. Push, push. And, oh no, New Mexico is over here, but Santa Fe, yeah, Santa Fe won't be enough. Okay, why aren't you advancing, my friend? Come on. There we go. We'll take all states. Wonderful. So now you deploy here. We're going to put them here, and we are now going to start training them as well. And get those two green divisions not green anymore, so they don't have that combat penalty. Um, can I get synthetic yet? No, I cannot. So let's get some more military factories all around. And for the extra military factories that we do have... I guess I should get motorized so I can add those field hospitals. Put that there. Actually, put that. I have a certain order I like things, so let's put that there. Uh, still lacking on oil. And let's attach. Oops, wrong tab. Um, infantry divisions. They have support artillery. artillery they have engineers. Are engineers really going to be that useful? Considering we have almost no motorized. So I'll keep it for now. Let's add uh, field hospitals. And that should create a decent deficit. Yeah, I've motorized, but that'll be alright. As soon as these guys aren't green, we're going to stop training, because I don't want to waste all of our equipment, especially considering we're trying to um, produce a lot of troops at the moment. We're still mobilizing, and we are almost at 2k recruitable. Very good. Let's get the Arizona focus. Can I upgrade any of my generals yet? Oh, I can upgrade our field marshal. 
Um, okay, offensive. I'm not going to bother with defensive. Reinforce rate is going to be nice. Oh, that's tough. It's between offensive and... Re I'm going to take the reinforce rate. So that's that's going to be useful because we're going to be fighting in mountains a lot. So when we're you know pulling troops somewhere maybe off the line to reinforce because there's not a lot of infrastructure, I want to be able to do that quick and get them right back in the fight. And we're now going to stop training because they are up to the level I need them to be. And I want to get those other divisions deployed sooner rather than later. Let's get resource extraction now since we're going to want to get as much steel as we can. And let's order up a bunch of synthetic refineries. It'll be done as soon as the rest of this is finished. But with that, we are at 30 minutes, so I'm going to be calling it the episode here. In the next few days, you can look forward to uh, most likely a Star Wars Empire War series and a uh, Napoleon Total War Darth Maul series. I'm trying out these different games because, you know, I just want to try something a little different. I don't want to just do Total War. Or, sorry, I don't want to just do Hearts of Iron 4 uh, because otherwise I'll, I'll kind of get burned out on it. It's happened before where I've just stopped uploading because I just don't want to play Hearts of Iron 4. So we're going to be doing some new stuff. Check it out, even if you don't really know those games too well. They're really fun. So uh, check it out. I promise it will be entertaining. Uh, but with that, though, we are going to end the episode. So if you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.